Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing uh, another test uh, of this uh, sterling ammunition from a Turkish company called Turok. Okay, uh, now uh, I tested this I think something like five months ago uh, back in November um, and this stuff, although it looks really nice for steel case ammunition, so this is steel case ammunition but it's coated with some stuff uh, and it's not like lacquer or something that's like, uh, cause lacquer is really sticky and it, uh, it makes your barrel smell. Uh, this stuff is like really, really smooth. So I had tested this back in, uh, in November. Okay. Uh, and what I found is when I ran it through the chronograph, this stuff is like terribly underpowered. Okay. Uh, I think the, uh, the energy that i got out of this was like 250 foot pounds uh, out of a glock 17 versus the standard 350 okay and then when i tested i have a nine millimeter rifle which normally i get something like 450 foot pounds of energy i got like 350 foot pounds of energy so this stuff is like terribly slow okay um i forget exactly what the velocity was but because i remember the i remember the uh, energy calculation that I did using the velocity and uh yeah 250 out of a 250 foot pounds out of a Glock 17 is horrible this nine millimeter uh is basically it has the power of a um of a of a 38 special okay or you know or, or they're about okay or like a hot 38 special but the test that we're doing today right, is uh, I've left this ammunition out uh throughout the whole winter right for about almost five months um, and the, the reason why I thought to do this is because with the, because remember, this is steel case ammunition and the steel case ammunition, like typical Tula stuff, if I leave that out for like three or four days, it starts rusting like immediately, okay? And what I noticed with this stuff, right, uh, I had left it out in this dish for like a week and it, the stuff looked like it was like brand new, okay? And uh, I'm looking at this after it's been out for uh, for five months. And this stuff is really, for steel case, this stuff is really rust resistant. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's discolored a little bit. So this, this stuff's been, like, literally out for, for, for five months. And I think some of the color that you might be seeing um, might be, uh, some of the color that you might be seeing might be from the from the dish itself um now the copper basically the, the bullets are, are are jacketed usually the copper will give off a little bit of coloring but anyway what i'm what i was curious to do today is uh shoot the stuff um so after five this 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 turok sterling ammunition after being out for five months through the winter with snow right you know, with this thing getting snowed on and rained on, I want to see how this stuff shoots. Okay, so um, now, mind you, because it's in the dish when it, you know, when it rains, I mean, it actually the water actually pools in there. So this is going to tell us something about the seal that it has. Okay, uh, what is water able to penetrate this? Um, so I, I don't know if the stuff's actually going to work, uh, but I am very impressed that. It's, it really is rust resistant for steel case ammunition. Okay, it is really rust resistant. So let's see if this stuff works after five months out in the weather through rain and snow. So it's already passed the test. The test was to see if it was going to rust so badly that it, like, like it would, like, you know, you couldn't even get it in the magazine. And I can see I can get in the magazine, and I'm pretty sure it's going to feed. Feeds fine. Okay, so uh, let's see if it works after five months out in the weather. Nope. Nope. Thank you. That was definitely a really low power squib load. So a little bit of water got in there, and uh, I think some of the gunpowder went bad. Yeah, that time it it it, it was a squib load that it, it it did not eject. 
So two out of the four rounds actually fired. Uh, which is like I'm really impressed. You know, for you know, because remember water was actually like collecting in there, you know. So the base the thing was basically practically submerged. I mean not the whole time, but for a good portion of the time. We're gonna try these four rounds again just for the hell of it, but So, really, uh, I mean, we got a 50% um, work rate. Now, it's really, because here's the thing, though, one, one worked well, it cycled, pushed back the slide. Uh, the other one that worked, the bullet got out the barrel, but it didn't lock, it didn't lock the slide back. It didn't eject the case, uh, so it was, that was like a squib, okay? Um, I did, I, you know, I did see the bullet hit over there, so, uh, I, you know, I did get an impact, so I know that it wasn't stuck in the barrel. Uh, but th this is definitely, absolutely, um, you know, rust resistant. This is good stuff. I think that Sterling, Sterling has a, a good product here. If they would just load the, the, the gunpowder to you know properly right to get proper velocities out of this stuff okay because this stuff is really nice it's pretty it's rust resistant um it, it's just that they've they, it's just they, terribly underpowered okay if they would load this to get the standard velocity i think that they would we would have a good tula replacement because it's i mean i can get tula but it's a matter of time before tula you know gets cut out uh with everything that's going on between Ukraine and Russia, and the uh, this war that the uh, U.S. military uh, industrial complex manufactured over there. Um, but yeah, this this stuff is uh, you know could be good. I'm hoping that that this company Turok saw the video that I did back you know like four or five months ago, and you know loads this ammunition properly, and we would have a good replacement now. Uh, as far as people shooting it, uh, when they're shooting it out of uh, a 9mm AR, no problem, the, the, the stuff cycles great. Um, shooting it out of a pistol, right, if, like if I shoot it, it cycles fine. Um, if, if A lot of times if I put women on this, right, or people that don't have a very strong grip and the gun moves a little bit, right, it's not forgiving, it will jam up, okay, so usually with the Tula, it's a lot more forgiving if, you know, not as forgiving as other ammunition, but it's reasonably forgiving. This stuff, if they have a weak grip, uh, it's going to it's gonna jam the gun up, okay? So you got to have a firm grip if you're shooting, if you're shooting this stuff uh, in the pistol because it is so uh, underpowered that it's going to stovepipe and, you know, fail to, to, to um, fully eject or fail to feed because the slide doesn't get thrown back far enough. Uh, but yeah, I'm really impressed with the fact that this stuff is like pretty much as rust resistant as, 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 as brass cases, right? There's like no rust on this thing. And again, it's not coated with like lacquer or anything that makes it like, uh, like, you know, gum up your barrel. So other than this being, other than this being underpowered and having too little gunpowder, this stuff uh, is is good. This this would be a good replacement if they would fix their if they would put the right gunpowder in there. So drop some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have uh, tested out this ammunition. Um, uh, you know, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. If we tested it out, hopefully they they've fixed this. They hopefully they saw my first video and they fixed the problem. Uh, drop some comments. Talk to you guys soon.